Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Mrs. Fields cookie dough. These are all dessert toppings, uh, but it's ready to eat and delicious, it says. I have the birthday cake. And a chocolate chip and fudge brown. These were $3.49 each at Meyer. Pretty good size bags though. They were in the aisle where you get your, um, like your ice cream toppings, like mm -hmm. where you buy the syrup and they have the confetti sprinkles and the nuts and uh, there's all kinds of little things now to put on ice cream. Yeah, they um, sell the Sanders, I think it's Sanders, the really thick toppings. It were, yes, yeah. they did. Yeah, yeah. they but sure that's did. That's in the same area. So this uh, is, a product of Taste of Nature, and it's made in Santa Monica, California, and it says refrigerate after opening. So these, you buy them on the shelf, like I said, but then if you open it, you have to put it in the refrigerator. So the birthday cake is nine servings, two tablespoons is 130 calories. I should have brought the scale. Hmm. Do you want to get the scale? I I think it would be very interesting to see exactly how much do you get for 130 calories. Inquiring minds want to know, I want to know, because that just like, because mm. I like cookie dough, and I know once I start eating this stuff, I can put away a lot of it, and so it's like, what is, re what is reality, you know? Okay. Oh gosh, they're little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, 28 grams. I expect. I honestly, I was expecting them to be bigger, I think, because yeah. that picture, and they're, they're real small. Wow, strong than hell, though. Ooh. That's it. There That's you go. You That's how many you get for 130 calories. So it's like the palm of your hand. You know? Okay. They look like little rabbit pellets. <laughs> It looks like you would something you would squirt out with your Play-Doh maker. Yeah, and cut it. Mm hmm Oh, not like it. It's it's very intensely strong. Oh, uh, it turned into um, gosh, it was good at first. Um, it's very very gritty. Um, You'd almost think it was a keto food. It, no, to me it tastes like a chemical. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, it's the vanilla. A, it is, it, it tastes like a very, very strong it's chemical. It's like, that tastes like something that you shouldn't be putting in your body. And what's funny is this comes from California. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't have one of those warnings. Wait a minute. Does it have a warning? <coughs> no, it doesn't. It should have one of those warnings on it. You know, like, California likes to put warnings on everything, except their Botox. Um, they, you know, don't eat this, or it's it's bad for you, or whatever. It can cause cancer. Huh? It can cause cancer. Yeah. It, it, they need to put that on these bags, because yeah. the, something is amiss with it's these just bags. A, it's just a really strong vanilla. It's, it's a very chemical-like vanilla. Oh, it's very chemical. I do not like that at all. The, it might be oh. different if you mixed it with, like, Ice cream, ice but cream. I don't know if it would or not. I don't know if the ice cream would cover you know some of that or not. I don't want to. I, do, I just don't feel good about eating it if yeah, it tastes that bad. It's very, very strong. Uh, this is it's the, the vanilla, though. That's what it is. Chocolate chip. So this is probably going to be the same base. Oh. It does say product images are for illustration purposes only. Products yeah, that's not what they look like. Oh, see, I expected them to be well, big. That's what they look like, but it's... Oh, okay, so down that here... That is basically the same size. Yeah, down there in that corner. Yeah. Down here in the corner, they do have the actual size. I was just looking at the one Picture. in the ice cream, yeah. So two tablespoons is 100, so exactly so, the size. So they're all the Okay, same. so you're gonna get the same amount. Wow. I just, I'm still got that chemical. I've been getting two, just this, to... Now I like a good cookie dough. I do too. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Hmm, those are softer. They still have an aftertaste. There's something in there. There's something up with that. It's, it's, um, mm -hmm. it's very, very artificial. Mm -hmm. And it tastes, yeah, there's a bite to it. It's a harshness to yeah. it. What's funny is they taste good while you're actually, when you first start yes. eating them. 
And they have a wonderful texture, that gritty kind of soft sugary kind of texture. I totally agree. And then all of a sudden you get this after funkiness. Yes. It's really strong, like you said, chemical. It's like a flavor. bite. It's it's sharp and it's like, oh my gosh, what did I just eat? And you know, I really like their cookies. So, um, uh, yeah, this, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Like well, I said, it might be different if you're mixing them with like if you're mixing cream, it with ice cream, you wouldn't maybe, know. Maybe, I don't think you would not. know. No. Because I think you're mixing it with ice cream, and what this would do for you in ice cream was it, it would provide you with a different texture. Yeah. So you're mainly going to be getting that texture. I don't know if you would detect that, but for me, I'm glad we're trying them alone because it's like, do I really want to be eating something that tastes like that. No, even if I can't taste it, it, it doesn't seem like it would be good for you. It's probably not the wrong one. Dude. No, I Just don't think it would. Uh, I don't think it would hurt you. That really does look like it came out of a rabbit pen. Uh, yeah, I've cleaned up Fido's pen, and that's that's what came out of it. Uh, fudge brownie, same calories. I used to. We had guinea pigs when I was little. There you go. There's what they deposited. That is so intensely dark and cocoa-like. Yes, it is. At least it doesn't have as much of that chemical flavor, but, but boy, is it dark. I mean, it's like it, pure baking cocoa. Yes. I like the texture, though, again. I like <laughs> the texture. I like the grittiness. I, I, pro I could overall, I probably like this one the most. However, it's, I tell you, it tastes like uh, if you make a really um, dark brownie, like deep, deep dark brownie, that's what that flavor reminds me yeah. of. This did not have that sharpness, and I think it's because the chocolate's never in it. Yeah, what? well, it probably doesn't have vanilla in it. I think these both had a lot of vanilla in it. Whatever okay. vanilla they're using is just really strong. Uh, yeah. Um, That's my guess. I don't mm -hmm. know. I would not buy these. I wouldn't. I just wouldn't buy them again. If you're going to mix them with ice cream, and like literally make sure you're getting a bite of ice cream with each piece, it might be okay. It probably would be fine. But, um, but just know by itself it's really strong. The chocolate, if you mix that in with some vanilla ice cream, it would add a lot of flavor mm -hmm. to the vanilla ice yeah. cream, that's for sure. Yes, it would probably be really, really good. And it's going to add, like I said, it's going to give it that little that added texture. Yeah, get that little sugary, gritty. And Even do, the brownie had that sugary, gritty texture. So. Yes, and I do think you'll be able to taste that chocolate because mm -hmm. it's oh, yeah. so dark. Dark. Dark so if you put that with some vanilla ice cream, you're going to be able to taste this mm -hmm. one. That, I don't know if the chemical flavor is going to come through or not. I Hard just would never buy those again. Yeah. Honestly, though, I wouldn't buy any of these. Um, it's a good idea. I like the I like the concept of having cookie dough mm -hmm. sprinkled over your ice cream. I love that. And if you made like a, a gallon of ice cream, or if you made your own vanilla ice cream at home, mm -hmm. you can Homemade. sprinkle you can sprinkle some of these at the very end where it kind of mixes them up in yeah. there and have a little bit of, of like cookie dough ice right. cream. That would be awesome if they didn't have quite that artificial flavor to them. So and a dessert bar, uh, if you're having like an ice cream party, or I know a lot of times at school yeah. they'll have an ice cream party and you can have all these toppings and make your own. This would have been good if it if those didn't have that flavor. I yeah. wouldn't want to take those to kids in a school. Just, I just don't feel good it's just about too those. Strong. Yeah, it is. But now this one, I could do this one. Yeah, I could do that. One. But you need to really, really like dark chocolate. Yeah, but I, I don't think I would. I wouldn't enjoy just snacking on these. No, I would rather have a tub of cookie dough with a spoon yes. <laughs> than these. No, I agree. So That's what we kind of got these for. Is like instead of ice cream, could you snack on them? And yes. No, no, I, wouldn't no, I wouldn't want to snack. I would not actually want to snack on any, any of, of them. them. No, you you need to be putting them with something else yeah. to enjoy them for sure. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Yeah.